might recognise these letters, but you won't recognise this vehicle. This is the third instalment of Honda's CRV, one of the world's most popular four-wheel drives. Ten years after the launch of the original, Honda says that CRV owners now acknowledge they don't really need to go off-road. In fact, they want a vehicle that handles less like a four-wheel drive and more like a car. So let's see how it goes. Now Honda has a very good reputation for designing interiors and this new CRV is no exception. It's a really nice use of materials throughout the cabin, plenty of good storage options and there's some nice little touches like this aircraft style handbrake. But the centre console that used to flip up and create a walkway through to the rear, well that's now fixed. So it's a much better cabin than the last CRV, much more car like, but does it drive like a car? What hasn't changed is that the new CRV has on-demand four-wheel drive. What it means is that when the computer and the engine detects that the front wheels are slipping, it sends more power to the rear wheels and that gives you more traction. You could argue that the CRV isn't a four-wheel drive in the strictest technical sense, and it doesn't really drive like a four-wheel drive either. Most four-wheel drive engines are really torquey, which makes them good for towing caravans or climbing steep terrain. But this 2.4-litre four-cylinder is all about revs, just like most Honda engines, actually. So to get the most out of the performance, you have to really rev it. If you're up for the six-speed manual, you're going to be using it a lot because of that lack of torque. Now, soccer mums, the traditional buyers of these kind of cars, are not going to find that ideal but that's pretty good for driving enthusiasts. We would also appreciate a better handling chassis than the previous CRV. The car doesn't roll as much in corners, but the ride is a little bit too firm around town. And it seems Honda didn't want the new CRV to look like a four-wheel drive either. Gone is the rugged and boxy look, replaced by a series of curves, although not all beautiful. There's this strange double grille at the front, and just as odd is this coupe-esque side glass that droops away from the roofline. At the rear, the old side hinged tailgate has been replaced by a top hinged version, while the spare wheel that used to sit on the back in classic four-wheel drive fashion has moved inside. The new CRV costs a little bit more than its predecessor, but it does come equipped with more safety features and gadgets. But in the back, there is one thing that is missing. Where's the cargo floor that doubled as a picnic table? Still, that aside, the less four-wheel drivey and more wagony CRV is the best yet from Honda. 